Number four, determine the molecular mass of the following compounds, and then we have letter B. So in organic chemistry, this compound is known as acetylene. Um, you don't have to know that, but just know that I see only two types of elements here, right? I see that I have H's on the outside, and I have C's on the inside, right? And remember, H is hydrogen, and C is carbon. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to translate this into a chemical formula. It does not matter which uh, element you start with, right? You'll still get the same molecular mass. I'm just going to start with the carbons. So how many total carbons do I have? Well, I drew two circles around the, the element, so I have two carbons. Disregard or don't even think of looking at these bonds. That's what these are. This is a single bond for a single line. This is a triple bond, and then this is a single bond. This is giving me information as to how these elements interact with one another. But all we care about here when we talk about molecular masses is just what or how many of the element you have. Now I do the same thing for the hydrogen. I see that I have a hydrogen here and a hydrogen here. So I have a total of two hydrogens. Now that's the first step of figuring out a molecular mass for a total compound is finding out how many individual elements you have and finding out how many you have of them. So I have two carbons and two hydrogens. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to list out my individual elements. In this case, I only have carbon and I only have hydrogen. And then I'm going to say that I had two carbons and two hydrogens. The next thing you're going to do is multiply that number by the mass that you see on the periodic table. Now this I pulled from uh, my periodic table that I'm looking at, but these decimal numbers might be a little bit different from yours, but they shouldn't be that far off. And that's okay. Different periodic tables round differently. But the question is, out of these two numbers, I see a decimal number and a whole number, right? And the same thing for this one. Which one is the mass number? The bigger number, but that's not always the case. There are some exceptions and it's chemistry, so there's always exceptions, unfortunately. But the decimal number is the mass number. So we'll say that this is either the molecular mass or we'll say it's the atomic mass. But mass, mass, mass. If you want to find out a mass, molecular mass, you need to grab these decimal values. So atomic mass. Since we're dealing with such a small scale, I'm going to use the unit of AMU. There are two units that you could use when you're dealing with these mass numbers. You could use AMU or you can use gram per mole. But since they're telling me molecular mass and not molar mass, I'm using AMU. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just times by these numbers. So for carbon, it's 12.01 AMU. And then for hydrogen, it's at 1.008 AMU. And let's see what we get. So 2 times 12.01 is 24.02 AMU. So that's the total amount of carbon that I have. And then 2 times 1.008 is 2.016 AMU. And let's just make sure. 2 times 1.008, yep, 2.016. And now if I want to find out the total molecular mass, what do I have to do with these numbers? Yeah, I got to add them up because that would be the total. I'm adding the two parts up. So 24.02 plus 2.016, I get 26.03 36 AMU. And that, my friends, is the final answer. That is the total molecular mass of my acetylene, which is C2H2. And that's it. So guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you would like. That would help us out. It just gets the word out there all over this, you know, all over the globe that this free service exists. And I think that it's a pretty, pretty cool service if I 
I don't say so myself. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for viewing the video. I love you guys. You guys rock. Let's keep studying hard, okay? We got this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.